So today we are going to talk about Atlantic Province, specifically in Nova Scotia. And I know you guys are looking at uh, community college, Nova Scotia Community College, or even easy permanent residency in Atlantic. But in this video, I'm going to tell you the bad and the good stuff of living in Atlantic based on our personal experience. Mm -hmm. So we lived there for almost two years, so I think we have valuable information to share with them, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. So if you're interested with that, keep on watching. Hi, my name is MC and I'm with Felix today and we're outside. We're here in Sydney where we live. <laughs> so we just walk. <laughs> so. In this video again, we're going to talk about Nova Scotia or Atlantic, uh, what's the bad and good stuff of living in Atlantic. So let's start. So we live in Nova Scotia in 2018. We lived there for two years, right? Yeah. We studied at Nova Scotia Community College and yeah, and I believe for me, uh, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island and Newfoundland Labrador, they have pretty similar, you know, lifestyle and also the weather might be similar but in this video we're gonna focus on Nova Scotia mm -hmm. yeah so number one problem not a problem but probably you have to think about it is the weather again but we are always talking about winter and stuff but in this video we're gonna focus on summer what is Indian summer oh, Indian summer is that what you call it yeah the Indian summer yeah so what do you think uh, Felix about the weather in Nova Scotia like in terms of summer and like fall mm -hmm. do you think it's good do you think it's yeah. livable so, so if you compare it to the west coast where we are now yeah um, it's definitely colder in the winter and they do get quite a bit more of snow mm -hmm. um, but then compared to that the summers are also warmer I found yes yeah <laughs> so just a little bit more extreme but certainly not as extreme as living in say Toronto or in the prairies where it's really really cold in the winter and really really warm in the winter and the summer and I always get that question that is it cold in Nova Scotia compared uh, with Ontario or Alberta for me I haven't experienced a uh, winter in Ontario or Alberta but I believe it's milder in Nova Scotia because of we're surrounded by water right yeah most places that are on the ocean Mm -hmm. are usually a little bit milder and also what you get is you get some uh, uh, bigger weather changes so it can be in the mm -hmm. winter time it can be minus 10 minus 15 degrees and then you get like a week of plus five or something which doesn't sound like a lot but if you think of the the difference 20 degrees warmer it feels quite nice for a week too yeah uh, it's a and bit of relief from the winter yeah and talk about uh, uh talk about indian uh fall is that what you call it? indian summer the indian right? summer yeah yeah so that's what they call it because there's so many different kinds of um trees with leaves um mm. on the west coast uh, no there's so many coast. different kinds of trees with leaves uh on the east coast uh also in like central canada and it's these beautiful uh, pictures that everybody has seen from uh, Canada yeah, where the like... trees are like orange and yellow and red <laughs> at the same time and it's really, really pretty. It is pretty but that would yeah. be in, uh, on the other side, the east coast. But here in the west coast, it's just green. <laughs> yeah, because most trees here are evergreen trees. They're all... Yeah. So next one is the people. The people in Nova Scotia, we find them uh, nice and welcoming. They're pretty relaxed, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I find most most Nova Scotians are pretty open and welcoming mm -hmm. and very talkative too. Yeah, but I remember um, you told me about like they're really, um, you know, when you meet someone at the gas station, they're gonna really ask you some personal questions, Sometimes right? they can be pretty nosy, yeah. And yeah, actually other, our friends from Nova Scotia were <coughs> saying that that's a typical East Coast thing that just complete strangers just ask you all certain questions about your life, which can yeah. be fun. Uh, but it depends on the person. Like I don't mind talking to a stranger about a bunch of stuff. 
Yeah, like even I, I don't yeah. mind if they ask me, but they don't need to ask my wage, right? That's like too <laughs> personal. But again, they're uh, really nice and welcoming, and again, they're relaxed. So I think that's a, a good advantage for immigrants, right? For immigrants, if you <laughs> like all the not all the people, but if most of the people in Atlantic, they just want to relax and chill, and they don't want to work, then you have more opportunity to find jobs. I I believe what well do you not think? all of them but is there's certainly culture mm -hmm. I think so yeah people don't have that mindset most people don't have that mindset where they just want to work 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 super hard and then become millionaires and have <laughs> a mansion and five cars and all that they just want to have a fulfilling comfortable and uh, simple simple life, life. Yeah. Yes, I yeah. think I, I I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but again, for immigrants, I think it's a good thing, right? It can be it can be good because in your career you might have you less can step, competition. Yeah, you can step or, up right away. Like yeah. I have met uh, a lot of um, Filipinos that they're in a managerial position. You know, like um, if you're going to Toronto or somewhere like in the big city, um, that would be hard. Like right mm -hmm. that would be hard to to get right yeah next one for us is infrastructure so one major problem of Nova Scotia is they got a lot of potholes <laughs> so what do you mean by potholes yeah those holes in the road yeah and the asphalt yeah um, which is mostly because of the hard winter in Nova Scotia and all the salt that they use and all the snow plowing um, mm -hmm. And I think um, the reason why they don't maintain the road is just that. Just <laughs> and and I believe the reason why they're not maintaining their you know their road and stuff is just because they don't put a lot of budget to that. What do you think? Yeah, you can certainly feel that there's more money available. For example, on in Vancouver or Vancouver Island, for infrastructure compared to a lot of towns in Nova Scotia. Uh, same yeah. with public transport; you'll notice it too. It's not as well uh, built out on the East Coast. Doesn't mean mm -hmm. it doesn't exist, but uh, you feel the difference. When it's you're more here, maintained here, right? Like here, for example, there's a crack in the sidewalk, and the next day, like a whole construction crew will will. Um, come up and fix everything and change mm -hmm. the whole sidewalk <laughs> and in Nova Scotia there's a huge pothole and you just have to walk around it or they'll put a board over it or something yeah so or just more on your own and the next one is the wage and the jobs right mm -hmm. it's like it really depends on the sector where you are sure. uh, going to work right if it's healthcare then you got a lot of jobs but I believe if you're in IT industry, like what else? What do you think? IT industry, I think the gaming industry is pretty big in Nova Scotia. Oh, really? Yeah, and then the healthcare sector is, they have a lot of demand for people to work in the healthcare yeah, in Nova Scotia. Yeah, but apart from that, you might be, you know, uh, might be, it might be challenging to find work. Mm -hmm. And again, the wages, it's pretty low if you are going to compare with other provinces like Alberta or British Columbia. One of the lower ones, yeah. Yeah, and the taxes. But if, even though it's low, even though it's, uh, you know, like can, can find job, I believe the cost of living is pretty good. Like when we're living there, like if you want to buy a one or three bedroom house, you buy 150 and you get like a decent house, right? Yeah, I would say compared to the Toronto or the the West Coast, it's probably 20, 30 percent cheaper uh, housing uh, in Nova Scotia, and the um, gas is pretty affordable too. Yeah. Yeah. But then groceries and stuff, they're pretty much the same all over the country, I find. Yeah, it's expensive here. Unless you go up north. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, if I'm gonna ask you, are gonna go back to Nova Scotia? I love Nova Scotia. I love Nova Scotia, dude. Like I don't. I miss it. I don't mind going back to Nova Scotia, like living there. And sometimes I ask Felix, like, let's just go back to Nova Scotia if we're going to work from home, anyways. Like we don't need to stay here in British Columbia. 
India. But we love it here as well, right? Yeah, I just want to live everywhere. <laughs> but we're planning to have our wedding in Nova Scotia, right? watching this video give it a like if you like it if you find it valuable and i'll see you in the next video bye